Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a beauty store collective haul and this video was originally supposed to be a vlog where I showed you guys a few days in my life and I did some appointments and then did some shopping because I knew I had a lot of beauty store shopping to do and then I was going to show you guys what I bought. But honestly, I started vlogging and then I changed my mind because these past few weeks, well, honestly, this past month and a half, I just haven't, it's just been rough, like, emotionally. So the thought of sitting in front of a camera and pretending to be happy, just, I just, I didn't want to do it. So I was like, forget it, I'm not going to vlog. So I scrapped the whole thing, but I still did a lot of shopping, so I decided that today I'm just going to be showing you guys a haul of everything that I bought over the past few, well, past couple weeks, like past two weeks. So since I did start vlogging, the first store that I shopped that I already showed you guys in what I was recording that week, so I'm going to show you guys a clip of what that vlog was going to be, and then I will continue the, ha the haul here. So here's the clip now. All right, I just got out from the store, did a lot of restocking here. Everything came to almost $80, to be honest, but, you know, it's all worth it. Um, I'll do a really, really quick haul while I'm sitting here. Well, I got this hair. This is for me. It's just, I like this brand because they're here. It's like weave here, but it's a very natural texture, which is very hard to find. Like, you can find it in clippings, but never in actual weave, so... I got this for myself. They have another texture that I've been wanting, but they, they won't restock in my color, but... It's just like, it has this blown out texture, so I could do a little ponytail on myself. And, you know, I always do the drawstring ponytails, but they don't look good on me unless I straighten my hair first. I have one that's a natural texture, but still I feel like my hair needs to be even straighter for it to look right. So I want to try it with this one so I don't have to actually, like, flat iron my hair and everything. So I got that. And then, um, besides that, well, this color developer is from my client who I'm going to. She just asked me to pick it up for her. I don't usually buy this brand. I use the professional brands that I get at Cosmoprof. But if she had told me before I left my house, I would have just brought my color and just did the service for her. But she just said to just buy the store brand or whatever. And she'll pay for it. So this is going to be hers. It's just a clear all color and developer. Um, I got a new mousse. I usually get the Shine and Jam one. But I'm like, let me just try this one out. I've been trying their gel too. And I like it. But I still like J Shine and Jam more. But... I'm like, let me just try out their mousse. So I'm going to try that out. I needed a new leave-in conditioner. The last one I bought, I forgot what brand it was, but it has a pink wrapper. But I didn't like it, so I'm trying a new one. I'm always trying new leave-in treatments. So this is the Jamaican Mango and Lime Cactus Moisturizer. So we're going to try that out today because I've been desperately low on leave-in treatments. I, I buy this from time to time. I just ran out, but it's just braided and twist remover, which I'm going to need today. I'm not completely out of it yet, but I just forgot to bring it, so I just bought one while I was out. But um, it's not going to go to waste because I use it all the time for taking down braids. Um, heat protector, again, nothing new, just ran out. And then this Gorilla Snot hair gel, which I honestly only use on this client because she always gets um, ponytails and buns and... Um, she just likes it with her natural hair, so I just use it to slick her hair up and, you know, put it in the little bun that she likes. Oh, and I got this. Um, I use this at the shop that I work at, so I just bought one for myself. Um, just for spraying down my client's scalp. I always like spray-on oils for when I'm done with braids, so I got that. And it's a pretty big bottle, and it's only $6, so I got it for myself. Well, for my clients. So, yeah, that's everything that I got. Okay, so I'm going to continue and try and keep everything together according to what store I bought them for. I'm going to try and stay in order, but I really don't remember what order I bought everything in. But I do know that after I did that little shopping, I will show you guys me shopping online at samsbeauty.com. So this is samsbeauty.com. I shop on this website a lot, mostly to buy Shine and Jam. Well, this is a uh, weave here that I'm looking at. Look, it's only $5, you guys. It's synthetic, which is fine. I just, I've been looking for this texture in synthetic hair just because I want to do a, a style later on with two feet and braids and then the curly hair at the end that I've been looking for that particular curl pattern so they have it on clearance for five dollars for a whole pack I believe it's a whole pack I'm not sure how many it's not very descriptive that's the one thing when it's on clearance they don't have some of them don't have too much information but it's only five dollars maybe I'll buy two just in case and if it happens to be too much I'll make it into a wig or something but anyway I usually shop here to buy shine and jam so this is by far my most used hair products and like i've mentioned before the price has gone up so much in stores lately you can spend almost 20 dollars for it at some stores 
The red one is usually expensive, but I don't know why the white one, um, the yellow one got so pricey. But here online, it's still $10, which is what it used to be. So I always stock up on this site. So any braiders out there or hairstylists who are looking to buy this a little bit cheaper, you can go to Sam's Beauty. I don't... I'm not trying to say don't shop at the smaller stores because I don't believe in that, but I like to buy this online particularly just because I buy so much of it so it adds up a lot. Anything else, I don't mind buying at the local beauty supply stores and supporting small businesses, but this one, I, I gotta find a discount somewhere. So this is where I buy it usually. And it's free shipping over $60, so I usually buy six jars, like six to ten jars because it never goes to waste. But right now they're having a sale where you only have to spend $30 for free shipping, but I'm still gonna spend way more than that anyway. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm probably gonna add four of those into my cart and then I'll see what else I feel like buying. So this is the box that came in when I put that order in. And I didn't order too much just because I had just done a bunch of shopping at the store. So here's the little box right here. So first, this is the hair that I was showing you guys that I wanted to get. Because I want to do the style where I do two feet in braids and add the curly hair at the end. So I just want a short curly weave hair. And it's synthetic hair, so that's the pattern right there. And I just got it in shade number two. So here it is. It's very short and it's actually perfect for what I want. I just love this tight curl texture. That's exactly what I was looking for. Something short and to the point. And it seems pretty full for one bundle, so I might keep the second one for another time, but I'll see whenever I get around to it. But I think that's the style I'm going to do when I take these braids out. So yeah, I got two of those. So besides that, I got some pink braiding here because another braid style I want to do, which I mentioned in my last video, I want to do my natural color with little accent braids of pink and purple. But I'm thinking of doing only pink. So this is the pink that I got. It's this bright pink, and I, I wanted a hot pink, and it's not really hot pink, but I still like it. It's like a bubblegum pink, so I doubt I'm going to use all of it. I just want a few braids, so that's what I got. Maybe I'll do that style next just because pink is my favorite color and my birthday's coming up. But I have no plans for my birthday, so we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I got that. And besides that, I just got four jars of Shine and Jam. And they always put the Shine and Jam inside a separate, like this bubble envelope. But it's only two in here because I took, I used one because I needed one. And then I have one at the salon that I work at. So there's only two more in here. But like I mentioned, I usually get at least six at a time. I get like six to ten at a time. But because I had done so much shopping, I was like, I'll just get four for today. So that's all that I did. And that was all that I bought in that purchase, I think. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So that's it. So the next purchase I made after that on the same day, I went on Amazon. And I just bought some tinsel because if you guys follow braiders, you would know that tinsel braids or confetti braids or sparkler braids are a thing now. So you get these little strings of tinsel and you braid them into the braids. And I really want to start offering it because I love that idea. And my friend's actually going to get this done on her braids next week. And I also have another client who wanted to try it. So I'm really excited to get some pictures of braids like that so I could advertise that and have that in the hair so i just got the rainbow one you can get it in solid colors as well but i was like this will be the best way to go because it has all the colors in it it'll just catch whatever color according to the lighting and you know what i mean it's iridescent so it is so pretty i am so excited for this so another purchase i made i believe this is all that i got from this particular store which is the one near me and i just got these packs of neon pink hair it's a little hotter than the pink hair that I ordered because my other friend wants to get her hair pink and purple like all pink and purple so I found and she wanted hot pink as well so I got this one because I already knew that this was not the right pink so I was like oh, that's not gonna work so I just went to the store and I found this one it's not hot pink either it's more of a neon pink but she said she was okay with that so I got two packs of that because you're doing that and purple I'm pretty sure I'm going out of the order that I actually shopped in but it really doesn't matter so I'm just gonna move on so the other day I went to another store I was out of the area so I just found another beauty store while I was out there so I was like let me go and see what they have I was looking for the next braiding here that I'm gonna show you I was looking for fuchsia here but I got that somewhere else but I went to this particular store and I was looking for it but they didn't have it, but I was like, well, I'm here, let me buy something. Just because the lady was trying to be so helpful and trying to get me to buy something. So, I'll be honest, it's kind of a pity purchase, but I was like, let me just support her and buy something. So, I got this Miracle Moisture, this Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Hydrating Detangler. 
never used it before, but I did get a leave-in conditioner from this brand one time, and I loved it, and my clients loved it. They were all like, oh, what's that you're using in my hair? Because it made their hair so soft and made their tangles just fall right out. And, um, yeah, so this is the same bride, um, brand, this African Pride. So I decided I'll try this out. By the way, my hands are extremely blue. <laughs> I was dyeing somebody's hair blue this morning and I took my gloves off way too early so now I have his blue hair all over my hands but it's cool. And my nails were actually pastel colors like lavender, yellow, mint green, baby pink and blue and now they just look like different shades of green and blue. But it's okay I'm getting them done in two days so yeah. So anyway so this is what I got and then also while I'm there I was there I got... Ugh, I keep telling myself I'm going to stop going to beauty stores and buy things that I don't need. Like, things that you can't run out of, like bonnets and shower caps and stuff. And I always buy this stuff. And I... Oh. Is my address showing the whole time? <sighs> I hope that wasn't showing the whole time. Or else we got to do that whole thing over. Anyway. So, I bought these two scarves. And I didn't need them. But I couldn't resist it because I'm just a sucker for these hair accessories. I just love this stuff. So first I got this scarf. It's an edge scarf and I actually thought I did need it because I was like, I don't have an edge scarf. I usually just use my rectangular one and I fold it to lay my edges. But right after I bought it, I was like, oh yeah, I do. I have a purple one that came with a wig that I got a few years ago. But oh well. Now I have a new one and it's pink cheetah print. I love cheetah print. So there's that. I didn't need it, but I got it. And then also this is just a regular square scarf. I just love this print. I don't want to say it's a tribal print because I don't know if it actually is. Like a lot of times they have these African prints and they don't actually represent anything. And the real African fabric is supposed to represent tribes and stuff. So I don't like calling them tribal prints just in case it's not. But it was just really, really pretty. I just couldn't resist it. So I got it. And if anything, I know my mom would wear it because she wears a lot of head wraps. So it's not going to go to waste. But I just love it. Ugh. Look at this. Like, I could literally like, fold this into a tube top or something if I had that kind of confidence. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty. So I just couldn't resist it. So I bought it. And then the last thing that I bought is this pack of hair ties. I love these types of hair ties where they're really thick. And these are the smaller ones. They have large ones too for if you have really thick hair and you want to wrap it around and around. But this one, I like this for when I have box braids. And like, I have one right in um, now. If I wanted to put all my braids in a ponytail, I won't even have to wrap it. It'll just hold it tight. So I just love these hair ties. So I got another set of those. And then just two days ago, I went to another store, which is also in my area. And I just got this fuchsia hair. And this is the hair curl that I was looking for when I was at that other store, but they didn't have it. So I just got it near me. So I got two packs of these because I actually have one more pack that I already have. Because my friend Deidre, who has split dye hair, she has half green, half um, magenta hair. So I got this for her hair because she's going to be braiding it next week. So, um, yeah, I already have a pack, an unfinished pack of this. So that pack and then these two packs would cover the half of her head. Honestly, I think these two packs alone would do it. But just to be safe because she's getting larger braids. So I got two packs of those to match her magenta side. So that's that. And then while I was there, I also picked up these two beaters because I keep losing these. So... I got those. And then finally, I made another Sam's Beauty purchase, which came yesterday. And as you can see, I just got some more braiding here. Well, first I got... Oh, I forgot something. This actually came with my first Sam's Beauty purchase. So I got this detangling... No, it didn't. I got it before then. No, I got this even before, like, my last, last Sam's Beauty. Anyway, so I got this brush. So in this purchase, I bought a second one, but I actually got the black one to it, but it's at the salon that I work at. So I just put this one in here so I wouldn't forget to show you guys. But it's that detangling brush that was, like, all the rage back a few months ago or a year ago or whatever. But it works really, really nice. So I bought it to finally try it out, and I really like it, so I got another one. So that's what that's all about. And then I got another thing that I don't need, which is a pintail comb. It's a precision comb, and it's leopard print. I don't need it. I didn't need it. Well, technically, I did need another one, which I mentioned in my last haul. So, you know what? I kind of did. So, <laughs> it's leopard print. I couldn't resist. I love animal print, and leopard print is my favorite. So, look at it. How can I resist that? How can I resist it? So, there's that. I'm a braider, okay? I love combs. That's one of the things that we just always need more of, because they break, or you lose them, or... 
the teeth break, whatever. I wanted it and I needed it, okay? So I got it. And then finally, all that's left is just some more braiding here. So I got this emerald green here, which is called Green Snake. And this is for my friend Deja's green side of her hair. So there's that. Such a pretty color. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm surprised I can't find it in stores. In the stores, I can only find an ombre version of this color, but not the full thing, like full through. So I got it off of Sam's Beauty. So I got two packs of those, which should be more than enough, because it's only half of her head. But like I said, she's doing large braids, so I wanted to be safe. And then I also got this purple hair for my friend Bianca, who's doing the pink and purple. So this is the purple hair that I got for her. So I'm so excited that people are starting to get colorful braids. I'm so excited for all these appointments that are coming up. So I got that. All right, so I don't think I forgot anything. I really hope I didn't. But that is it for my beauty store haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.